Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel which has something to do with Planet Coaster. It is the first video in the tutorial series that I am planning to do alongside all my other series that I have started. So for the first tutorial I thought I'd do something that quite a few of you have been asking for and basically it's what my channel is based around and that is doing floor plans for one to one recreations in Planet Coaster. Now actually making a floor plan is quite easy and very very simple to do. So first things first you need to locate the attraction or whatever you want to recreate in Planet Coaster. For this video we're going to use the example of Oblivion. So I'm going to zoom in to Oblivion and this is the most important part. You need to make sure you can zoom in all the way with 20 meters with the ruler down here at its longest. So make sure the ruler is at its longest, that's as far as we can zoom in, and we can take our screenshot. So for the next part we're going to calculate how big our floor plan image needs to be before we split it up into separate images to put on billboards within Planet Coaster. To do this I use a website called Photopea. This is basically an online version of Photoshop because you do need Photoshop to actually do this. No other image editing software is going to work because Photoshop has a specific tool that only it has. If you have Photoshop great, you can just follow this tutorial along normally because this is basically the same layout as Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, don't worry, don't get any sort of trial, just go to this website photop.com, there will be a link in the description. Here we can import the screenshot we've just made from Google Maps. Now that we've got our image imported, we're then going to make a square the same size as the ruler from Google Maps. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a square from one end of the ruler. Remember to hold shift to make a perfect square, now line up at the other end of the ruler. There we go. At this point, we then need to transform this square into the size of 32 meter Planet Coaster billboards. To do this, we're going to go to Edit and then Free Transform. This will bring up this toolbar here, which has width and height percentages. Currently, our square is 20 meters by 20 meters, so we need to change it to 32 meters by 18 meters, which is the size of the billboard within Planet Coaster. To do this, we need to calculate the percentage change that's needed. To change the height of the square from 20 meters to 18 meters, we're going to change it by 90%. This will then make it 18 meters high. For the width, it needs to be 32 meters, so we're going to transform that. This will make it 32 meters by 18 meters. Now our square is the same size as a Planet Coaster 32 meter billboard, and now we can calculate how big our image needs to be. Now you don't actually have to do this next step of making an actual floor plan image, and you can just skip to the parts where we split it off into different sections to implement onto Planet Coaster billboards. However, I do heavily recommend this part because when you actually import it into Planet Coaster, the resolution resolution of the image becomes very very zoomed in and it becomes very pixelated and quite hard to make out the little details. By doing this step, it ensures that when you import it into Planet Coaster, the resolution of the image is so high that when it's zoomed in all the way in Planet Coaster, it doesn't become pixelated and you can still make out the little details. Now this part can get a bit tricky because we need to estimate how many billboards across and how many billboards down our oblivion layout is going to be. To do this, I'm actually going to turn on distances which is up here at the top. Here we can actually work out how many billboards we're going to need across and how many billboards we're going to need down. It looks like we're going to need four billboards across, which is going to be four times one nine twenty, of course the resolution of our billboard image. Going down, it looks like we're going to need seven to eight billboards, so this is going to be seven or eight multiplied by 1080. Now I'm in the image editing software I like to use, which is paint.net, it's a completely free image editing software, and there'll be a link to the download in the description. Like I said, our image is most likely going to be four billboards across, which is 7680. For height, I estimated it's going to be about seven or eight billboards. Just to be safe, let's put in eight. So that's going to be eight times 1080 which is 8640. We can then create our new image. Now before we import our image to make a floor pan, I heavily recommend you go back to your Photoshop or photop.com and save this image as a new edited image. This is because it actually has our red billboard shape already in there and we can use this to estimate how cropped in the image should be. Now we have our screenshot that we just edited with a red billboard on it, but obviously it's very very small. This red billboard here needs to be 1920 by 1080. For this next part I heavily recommend you have these rulers on the side of your screen. If you don't, check if there's an option in your image editing software where you can have these rulers on. If there's no option to have the rulers, then download paint.net. I'm then going to expand my image holding down shift to maintain the aspect ratio. 
until that red billboard is 1920 by 1080. For a better measurement, I'm just going to put it in the corner right here so I can measure it from zero. Our red billboard is now at 1920 by 1080. So the next step is to actually make our outline. To do this, I'm going to add another layer and then I'm going to use the line tool within paint.net. I recommend changing the line color to something very bright and very easy to see. As you can see, I can now draw the line to make Oblivion's layout. So let's just quickly do that. Now I'm not actually putting in much detail with the line and I'm only doing the layout because, well, I'm not actually going to be using this, this is just for tutorial. But I do heavily recommend that you put as much detail into these lines as you can. Sometimes using the attractions planning application can help a lot. If there's different sections to the track, such as a brake run or a lift hill, we can put in more lines with different colours so that we know which is which and we can differentiate between them. For Oblivion's brake run, I'm going to use a red line, and for lift hill, I'm going to use a blue line. After this, I can now get rid of my original screenshots, and we have Oblivion's layout ready to be converted into Planet Coaster billboards. Next, we're now going to split our image into different parts so we can put them on billboards in Planet Coaster. For this, I'm actually using a website called BigTools.net. Now, Photoshop does actually have this as a built-in function, but I don't have Photoshop, so I'm just going to use this website. Now, at the start, we established that our image is going to be split with eight billboards down and four billboards across. So I'm going to change the rows count to eight and the columns count to four. Leave the file format and the quality as they are, then click split. This will then download a .zip file with our different images in there. Click on your .zip file and then we can import all these images into our user media folder for Planet Coaster. Now that we've got all our images imported into Planet Coaster, we can then put them on our billboards. So of course we had four billboards across and eight billboards down. Now we got all our billboards in place, we can now begin our recreation. At the start of the video, I mentioned how the image for the actual floor plan should be very high resolution, and this is the reason why. In Planet Coaster, this is a 1920 by 1080 image on a 32 meter billboard. If we didn't do this high resolution floor plan image, then we would end up with something like this. As you can see, it's very, very pixelated and very low resolution, and very, very difficult to see the tiny little details. We can now begin to build. but you get the idea. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I hope to see you all again in the next video. Goodbye.